What's Mark's gospel all about? Great. Okay, well, we've done this. I'm sure we've done this. Must have done. But Mark's gospel is all about the beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, it says in verse 1. Yeah? Chapter 1, verse 1. This is the beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So what's it about? Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Yeah? He is the Son of God. And the first eight chapters are all about how Jesus shows that he's the Son of God. He goes around healing the sick and raising the dead and walking on water and throwing out demons and stuff like that, which is exactly what you expect the Son of God to do, God the Son to do, if he was here. He does that. And then you get that crunch bit in, in chapter 8 of Mark's Gospel, where Jesus says to the disciples gathered, who do people say that I am then? What has the last eight chapters been all about? It's been about who Jesus is, right? And he says, who do people say that I am then? And some say this, and some say that. Elijah, John the Baptist, prophet. Who do you say I am, says Jesus. And Peter, being slightly dobby, speaks up, first of all. And he says, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed are you, Simon bar Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father is in heaven. So there you've got the resolution of showing the world who Jesus is and what he's about. He's the one who's come to bring in the kingdom of God, he's the Messiah. And then from then on, Mark's Gospel is all about how to live in his kingdom.